Satoshi Matsuoka. I'm a professor at Tokyo Institute of Technology, and I'm responsible for the Tsubame series of supercomputers and other projects. And uh, I'm here to uh, represent some of the HPC projects happening in Japan. Um, collaboration in software and hardware development uh, in the e infrastructure is getting uh, increasingly important because of the sheer mass of things that need to be developed over the years. Uh, as I will mention later, certainly there needs to be conversions of HPC and big data, but this uh, for future science as well as uh, general industry. But such a development will require a massive amount of both software and hardware to be designed, developed, and manufactured and deployed. So only through international collaboration uh, this, this is possible, uh, because, again, because of the ma sheer mass of the requirement, as well as these uh, infrastructures requiring to be quite ubiquitous, because the underlying basis need to be uh, fairly uh, homogeneous. So uh, on the other, um, the other aspect is it's a golden opportunity because because of this uh, huge requirement that um, uh, it gives the all the nations in the world, especially you know, Europe, uh, uh, U.S., Japan, China, those countries to collaborate to make impact on the general um, uh, well-being of the uh, of the mankind and the society. So I think it's going to be a long endeavor in the coming years with exascale, big data, that um, uh, these collaboration uh, will happen, but they need to be happen, uh, they need to happen in a very proactive fashion uh, with uh, various uh, efforts from the funding bodies and the uh, partners involved in the, in the research and development. So Japan, uh, the Ministry of Education and Mixty has recently announced its intention to launch a project uh, to develop an exascale supercomputer to be deployed by the year, fiscal year of 2020, meaning uh, spring of 2021. Um, the uh, the plan has been submitted to the CSTP Council for Science and Technology Policies, and there has been a tentative approval to go ahead with the initial uh, design studies. Um, now, if everything will be approved up to the de de uh, development, manufacturing, and the, uh, the actual deployment of the machine, uh, this will be uh, something in the order of a billion euro uh, project uh, over the next seven to eight years. Uh, the project is, is being headed by uh, Weekend's uh, AICS, which now, um, which is a research institution established around the K computer, and now who's responsible for K. Uh, but, um, but we will see how the collaboration amongst the Japanese HTC community can make this machine happen. Uh, but it's not just this machine alone. Uh, it's, it's pointless to just build one one-off machine in Exascale. Uh, actually, recently, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the panel or the committee of HPCI, the Japanese High Performance Computing Initiative, we have uh, recently um, finalize a recommendation paper uh, that will spell out the, uh, HP, uh, the overall evolution of the high-performance computing infrastructure of Japan uh, leading up to exascale machines. And uh, in that machine, we ha in that paper, uh, we have explicitly stated that the flagship machine uh, will be exascale and will be needed to be de developed. But also, there needs to be a, a fleet of uh, a leadership machine which will complement the, uh, the flagship uh, for applications that not, cannot be exactly efficiently covered by the flagship. So, uh, so the, basically, the, uh, the, the white paper uh, by the committee recommends that the entire infrastructure not just focus on a single machine, but that there will be an ecosystem, cohesive ecosystem, uh, with a flagship machine at the top, but also leadership machines at the top tiers, and then there'll be other machines as well as networks, uh, storage, and, and also uh, applications, uh, education, all the, everything associated with the building the overall ecosystem be uh, pushed forward cohesively along with the development.
So hopefully, if everything will come through, all of this can be deployed uh, by 2020 or sometime a little later. ISC is certainly uh, one of the premier uh, HPC conferences in the world. In fact, uh, along with SC, which basically is is in the uh, is based in the U.S., uh, ISC is the premier uh, conference uh, HPC conference in Europe. And uh, I have been I've been going to ISC for some time now, and have uh, they have also made me a fellow, so which I'm very proud of and have um, uh, made uh, various presentations and contributions over the years, as well as having my people participate and have booths and uh, join in various activities. Uh, so definitely, uh, this also has been the case for many Japanese institutions and, and, and uh, academic institutions, as well as companies, uh, private industries, where they have some major presence, uh, uh, have had and will continue to have major presence in ISC in the coming years. Uh, in some sense, ISC has grown from its early days to become a full-blown, large-scale international conference involving 3, 000, over 3,000 people now, and its uh, programs have become uh, quite uh, extensive uh, uh, from all the ex exhibition booths to all the awards to ceremonies to technical talks. You know, there are so many activities that you cannot really, it's getting to the point where you cannot see all the activities you're interested in, in a sing, uh, within a single conference. But I, I don't think it has lost the spirit where Hans Moyer has initiated, where it really is also a place um, where there's a get-together of people who are stakeholders, people who are stakeholders of HPC to really get together and exchange uh, ideas and communicate various information. Uh, it's sort of a place to be, not just for the contents, but uh, also to this, uh, meet the people. Uh, meet the people who are really involved in the conference to be there and you know, really exchange the ideas for future incubation of HPC uh, uh, for the coming years. So uh, with Hans now uh, having passed away, which is really sad, but I think this spirit will live on for a long time. Um, and uh, it's our mission as, um, uh, as a member of ISC community to actually um, push on with the tradition uh, for the success of ISC and also HPC community overall.